YouTube, welcome back to another video. My name is Storm, I'm a C4-5 incomplete quadriplegic, and in today's video, I'll be covering some new research surrounding health, science, recovery, and spinal cord injury going on around the world. This is an interesting one, so be sure to watch the entire video and smash the like button for more Stormy and Friends. Baby, it's really whatever. Stormy no matter the weather. Subscribe to Stormy and Friends. A new study out of Beijing published in Journal Science explains neuromodulation improves quality of life after spinal cord injuries. Neuromodulation has been shown to improve the lives of many patients after spinal cord injury. With electrode design improvements and software programming, there is hope that pain and suffering can be reduced and quality of life improved for those who've suffered spinal cord injuries. Advances in neuromodulation technologies are addressing some chronic pathologies using epidural electrical stimulation. This technology is being used to restore motor function in previously paralyzed limbs. The latest implants allow for remote programming so recovering patients can return home and have their devices fine-tuned through teleelectronic medical consultations. In addition to reducing pain, neuromodulation might do even more for those living with spinal cord injury. According to Yang Lu, a neurosurgeon in Beijing who studies spinal surgery and spinal cord neuromodulation, an epidural electrical stimulation system can be used to induce rhythmic lower limb movement and enable voluntary motor movements, meanwhile restoring autonomic and sexual function, as well as bladder and bowel control. Epidural electrical stimulation is one of the most promising strategies to treat spinal cord injury by increasing neuroplasticity. Its clinical effects have been demonstrated by several famous medical centers, Yang Lu says. The therapy is a simple two-step procedure. In the first step, percutaneous paddle leads are chosen and placed over the spinal cord. The second step is a trial phase in which the patient is stimulated with an external pulse generator to test their clinical outcome. If the patient experiences 50% or more improvement, a pulse generator is implanted to continue the neuromodulatory treatment. If they get good relief, and that typically means 50 to 80 percent improvement, then we can come back at a later date and put this in permanently. Penn's Medical, a high-tech healthcare corporation in Beijing with a primary mission of providing innovative, high-quality products, is creating an innovative enterprise in the field of neuromodulation. Penn's medical devices offer some of the first remote programming platforms which allow physicians to remotely adjust the configurations and parameters of the stimulation in the patient. Other features of Penn's medical devices that are really impressive include neuromodulation with variable frequency stimulation, high density electrodes and flexible control patterns for spinal cord stimulation that provide high accuracy stimulation, and advanced artificial intelligence algorithms that find the optimal biomimetric neuromodulation solution. With PINS medical technology, a patient with spinal cord injury can undergo surgery and then return home to receive post-operative programming. Hospitals are now performing translational medicine research on neuromodulation to serve patients with all types of neurological diseases. So far, this has been successfully used in clinical treatment in hospitals to help lower limb paraplegic patients stand up again and to restore the hand grip function of quadriplegic patients. In the future, it appears that more opportunities lie ahead in applying neuromodulatory therapies to improve the lives of patients after spinal cord injuries. Comment below how you feel about the future of new therapy research going on around the world. Could these treatment methods help you or someone you know? Like and subscribe. Storm Squad, I love you. See you in the next video. Baby, it's really whatever. Stormy no matter the weather. Subscribe to Stormy and Friends.